Hi right, guys, today I'm going to show you how to crack WPI and WPI2 using a brute force attack called Aircrack against the word list. I'm using Kali 2.0 and I hope you enjoy this tutorial. First off, we're going to start up a terminal. We're going to type in irmon ng This will show us all our current available wireless adapters. I'm going to say irmon ng start wlan1. This will put the wlan connection in monitor mode. As you can see, it says monitor mode enabled. We can confirm this. By typing in mon ng again, it will show wlan1 mon, showing it is when uh, monitor mode. We're gonna type in here mon ng check kill. This will kill all the processes uh, that might affect our testing. So we're gonna type in here dump dash ng wlan1 mon. That's the adapter we're gonna use now on error dump. So basically, it will check for all the traffic around us. We're gonna close it. We're gonna attack this ice router. As you can see, it's, uh, the BSSID is uh, actually called EB at the end. As you can see, EB, that means there's a client on it. This client's MAC address is actually connected currently to it. So we're going to start the uh, error dump dash ng dash channel. The channel is one, as you can see there. We're going to save it, uh, the cap file to a file called host. And uh, the BSSID, we're going to paste the BSSID of the router. WLAN 1 MON. So this is going to run an active session now. Uh, with all the clients connected to it. If someone disconnects and reconnects, it's going to capture automatically the four-way handshake at the top. As you can see, it's not capturing anything, so we need to throw them off. So that then uh, to force them to reconnect. So here you play dash ng, 0, 0, dash a. We're going to paste that. Uh, now you can... Uh, focus on client actually to throw a specific client offline but I'm just gonna throw off uh, everything on that router. We're gonna start this as you can see already we captured the four-way handshake at the top so basically what you're gonna do now is we're gonna close the session um, and now it's actually saving our .cat file. Never close, uh, don't, or never close, you can don't close uh, this uh, the current session until you capture the handshake, otherwise it's not going to be in your cap file and you won't be able to actually decrypt the password. Uh, now we can say here crack dash ng with a word list located at root desktop dictionaries pw list pw test dot txt it's called heist dash 01.cap. Now I know we only saved it as heist and not heist dash 01, but uh, it'll dump automatically add the dash 01 to distinguish between files. Now the dictionary we're actually using is here the, on the desktop. Uh, it's uh, on the pwtest, the file name, and I know the password is in there because I placed it in there just for testing purposes. But uh, if your password is not in there, it's obviously not going to work. Uh, but you don't have to add it, just add a lot of random words and hopefully you got uh, the matching password inside it. So we're going to start this up now. As you can see, it decrypted it already. For the 24 keys tested in about 0 seconds. <laughs> 24 keys tested, 505 passwords per second, keys per second. The password is actually found. As you can see, it's cycle 1 to 3. That is correct because I know I'm currently uh, our router, the password is 1 to 3. I'm just going to close it. I hope you guys enjoyed and have a lovely evening.